Hey, Tech Panther, fun fact, in PowerPoint you can create a link that opens automatically without you doing anything. You can open a presentation by pressing F5. So here is a normal link. Click here to go to Google. Click here to go to Google. Can you tell us the World Cup? Next slide is a mouse over link. Mouse over here to go to Google. And same thing. Now this one is special. It gives you a warning. And then just opens Google. But notice it says auto link and wait for it. I did not do anything. I did not put my cursor over anything in particular. I did not click anything. It opened a link automatically. And now I'm going to show you how I made that particular presentation. Because I haven't made it yet at the time I'm recording. So, I just went into a normal presentation and set it to title only. That's the format I used. And I just set up a demo slide. Um, in this case, the title was Link. And then I just created a button that I would be clicking on. Then I just had to make it a link, so I right click on the shape and click hyperlink. Now I just do this tab, existing file or web page, and type in the address http colon slash slash www.google.com slash. Then I just hit OK and it works. Or let me test that. Let's click here to go to Google. Does it work? It's a good idea to test. There we go. Yes, it does. So now it's time to create the next slide. So I'm just going to copy that slide. Type in mouse over link. Now to make a mouse over link, I don't actually use the hyperlink option, which you can see here. I use the action button section. Now this is already set to a hyperlink, so it'll take the properties from that hyperlink into the action, but I'm going to set the mouse click to no, add the mouse over to a hyperlink. I'm going to use the URL section, http colon slash slash www.google.com. And there it is. So now for this one, I just put my mouse over it, and it opens. Oops. Be careful not to put your mouse over it multiple times. And now, it's time for the third slide. Once and for all, the auto link. We're just going to say, wait for it. We're going to go into action properties, and, oh wait, what? Set the mouse over section to none. Now we're kind of going to be doing this in a roundabout way. So first go to your desktop and create a new a shortcut. New shortcut. Now I'm going to type a location. HP. Oh, I remembered. <laughs> now I'm going to click next. Just going to call this Google finish and that creates a URL file. I'm just going to leave that there. I am going to insert an object. This is a special type of object called an OLE object. These are pretty interesting. I'm going to create a new. I'm going to scroll down and click Package. This allows me to import any file, although it won't create a preview, unlike the other options. I'm just going to click Browse, go to my desktop, and select the Google shortcut I just barely created. It's called Google.URL. Now I'm just going to move that over so that it's not in the slide. Now I'm going to go into the animations for that particular object. Now, most of the animations are normal, like entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion path, but there's also this fifth section down here called OLE action verbs. Act activate contents is what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to set it to start after previous. So now we're going to test it. So we just go to this, and it does warn you, but um, then the link just opens up just like that. And that's how it's done. Keep in mind, that warning will appear as long as the object in your package is a shortcut. However, if it's an actual embedded file, such as a picture or video, it will give you the warning, but it will also give you a checkbox for if you want to be warned about that file type in the future.